Danny Huffer, our first training session back after our win from Plymouth on Sunday. What have you guys been working on today? Uh, today we came back in the gym, uh, got our legs back basically from the long trip from Plymouth, a successful trip. Um, but we got in, we, we went shooting a lot, uh, got stretching, we got, did a lot of stretching today. Actually did some uh, conditioning also, so I mean, it was good for us. We got in tonight also, so we had like kind of a three day today. Got in tonight and got more shots in. We scrimmaged earlier on today too, so I mean, it was good. High, high intensity, so it was really good. Now up to an 11 game winning streak, but is there anything you feel the team could work on, both offensively and de defensively, to still improve further? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. You can always improve in the whole basketball game every day. Uh, defense, definitely everybody needs to improve. I mean, obviously I think we're playing great defense right now, but I think everyone can make it even more of a step up to get a uh, faster on help side, knowing who's a better shooter, who's this. Uh, just playing their defensive roles and doing what they do, but I think obviously everyone that's improving, everyone including myself, we can always improve in defense. There's no 100% great defense, but we're, we want to get to that 100%. Offensively, I think everyone's doing their thing. I think we're very confident. I think everyone's shooting the ball well. I think I'm shooting the ball well. I think Trevor, I think Merrick's shooting great. Um, everyone's doing their part in the role, in the offense and defensive role, and I think everyone's doing what we need them to do, and um, I think that's why we're being very successful right now also. Obviously, the 11-game winning run is very impressive. What do you think was the catalyst for that? Obviously, we were quite hit and miss through the start of the season up to Christmas, but then in New Year, and especially the last 11 games, the team has really come on leaps and bounds. What do you feel is the reason for that? Well, first of all, I mean, I think everyone's starting to know their role uh, a lot better. Everyone knows their role now. Everyone knows what they need to be doing on offense and defense, and as collective as a team on defense. Uh, everyone knows a part of the uh, offensive role, basically. And also, uh, adding uh, Mo was big, huge, and uh, Trey coming in. So, I mean, they've been doing very well also. Uh, we don't, uh, uh, Mo's not in right now, but um, we're still doing really good without Mo right now. And, uh, but we, we still, we always need Mo. But uh, I think we're, everyone's clicking and we're on the same page and we're just going to keep going and we're bonding better as in we're gelling a lot better as the year went through. So definitely in the beginning of the season was a struggle. Everyone was trying to figure out what they needed to do on offense and defense. Everybody was trying, doing a little too much and trying too hard, but I think everything's leveled out now and hopefully we can continue on the street. We face the London Lions this Friday again for the third and final time this season. Two wins over them already. A third one would be great. What you guys, how are you guys going to approach that game? Uh, definitely we're going to approach it. We want to win. I mean, uh, we definitely want to win, uh, but they're going to come in. They've got a lot of ex-players on their team. Uh, they're going to want to come. They're going to want to win the game for themselves, uh, and it's going to be good for them to get in a better seat probably for playoffs. I don't know exactly where they're at right now, but we're just trying to win uh, every game out right now, and we can just focus on ourselves and what can we improve on, and we just really want to focus what we can do the best and limit our mistakes for Obviously, we want to be getting a good seed for the playoffs, so it's very important for us to play this, uh, and play a good game coming up. I was talking to you previously about your sort of career at basketball and what you'd like to do after your career finishes. Yeah. Um, we spoke briefly about possibly a coaching role. Yeah. Is that still something you'd like to do? Oh, man, I'd love to coach sooner or later. Um, it's one of those things I want to do after I get done playing. Uh, I played with, actually, Sterling Davis as he, when he was a player coach, and he had a, it seemed like it was kind of stressful like sometimes, so, I mean... Yeah, uh, so I kind of seen that how he was doing and coaching and playing and then trying to get that system with the kid, with the guys too. So I think I'd rather just wait after uh, I get done and um, definitely pursue the coaching and hopefully get in some kind of little gig and either in the top universities in the States or in the NBA somewhere or overseas. So definitely what I want to do after I get done playing though. That's great. Cheers for your time, Danny. No, thank you very much. Cheers. And thank you for the fans for showing up for all the Plymouth game. That was big. And we just uh, we continue to need your support, uh, the six men, and we love the sh shouting and screaming. And just please uh, keep on supporting us. Thank you.